So I'll just get started on God's Not Dead. So why did you decide to take on this role? It was, it seems to be, I mean, it, you might get some pushback for it because it's, you know, very, you know, people are going to. You know I'm not I mean. going to have enough pushback. Believe oh, really? I, 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 there's not a, I've had so much pushback, I'm immune to it. Uh, the reason I did this film was a couple of, uh, I, well, uh, David A.R. White, who produced it and is, is play, plays Pastor Dave, he's a friend and he came to me and asked me if I wanted to do it. And I said, sure. I mean, I've seen the movies and um, the, my life has sort of taken, my life is very, uh, things just happen in my life. I've been very lucky. You know, God has been good to me. Things just happen. And David asked me to do this film. And I was like, well, sure. I mean, I read it and it was really, really a good script. And I love the, the message in it. And uh, I, I I believe in the message. And so I said, sure, man. I said, if I can, if I can help in, and in doing the film and in uh, talking about it afterward, I realized that there's a bigger message in all of this. And that's really what, I, what I'm all about. And what's the bigger message that you- The bigger you message portray? is to, I'm sorry? What's the bigger message that you want to portray? The bigger message to me is I want to save my country. I want my country. I have a daughter. I want her to grow up in a country that resembles the one that I grew up in, a country that was God-fearing, powerful, prosperous, and safe. And it seems like we're none of those things right now. So uh, my, my mission is to, in any way that I can, is to save America. I mean, I grew up in America. I don't know what this is now. It's been a getting rid of God thing for 30 years at least, maybe more. Well, I guess that was my next question is why is it important to you? So to save your country. Yeah, save my country for my child. Because in the big scheme of things, how much time do I have left? I don't. And if I, well, I will do what I can for my, I do whatever I can for my daughter, period. How do you think this film could raise awareness to the attacks on our freedoms, especially religious freedom? Well, there's a statistic that I heard about uh, that's not hearsay, it's factual. Uh, 40 million Christians don't vote. I don't know why. I don't know what their issue is, what principle they're standing on. I don't know. But I'm sure these people complain about the country and 40 million people is not a small amount of people and whether they don't want to get involved in politics whether they think it's sleazy or they're too or whatever the issue is if you want to maintain if you want to help your country you've got to vote and you can vote by mail do that if you don't want to get out of your house if you don't want to leave you to whatever vote at the end of the movie, God's Not Dead and God We Trust, that's coming out on September 12th, there's a QR code at the end of the movie that you, where you can register to vote. So uh, 40 million people don't vote. Christians don't vote. And millions of gun owners don't vote. And if 10% of those people voted, we, we could really affect a lot of change in this country, a lot. Because I don't, um, I'll get political for a moment. I'll tell you my my opinion of the difference between, I don't know where you are politically, but the difference between a conservative and a liberal is a conservative, a liberal wakes up and figures and, and tries to see what they can change. What's, what's, what aggrievement, aggrievement, aggrieve, yeah, aggrievement that they can find, what can, they can tear down for whatever reason they want to do that that's how they wake up in the morning. A conservative wakes up and just goes and lives their life. So 
because we're so busy with our life, we don't see what's happening. And we've got to start seeing what's happening to the country. And I have liberal friends. I'm not, I don't, I don't dislike liberals. They have their point of view, but that's, that's, that's the fight. And you, you got the opportunity to play the villain in the story, which I don't know if I've ever seen you play a villain, at least not in the shows that I watched. So you're essentially working against religious freedom in this movie in an indirect way by being uh, on the side of this, this terrible candidate. So how did you get into that character and what made you decide to do that? Well, you got to look at the picture as a whole, right? I'm just, whatever gets you to the message at the end of the film is, is what I'm, what I'm all about. Um, it's, it's really not that hard, honestly, uh, if it's written well and playing a, playing a creep, it's kind of fun. Uh, you get to, you get to improvise a bit because there's a lot of some, for some reason, for some reason, there's a lot of freedom in playing a bad guy. There just is. So you, uh, and then I, yeah, then you kind of think, well, politicians are all pretty creepy. So I've seen enough of them on television. I can tell who's lying and who's not. And they, and sometimes it's hard to tell who's lying. Uh, but it, when, when any, when anybody says, let me be clear, lie. So if you go from there, it's pretty easy to play a creep. Like what is the ultimate goal, do you think, for you personally, for people to take from this film and just as a whole? Me personally, uh, for people to take away for what you want people to take away from this film from me like what do you want people to take away from it like i want people to take away that that they need to get out and vote period end of story also that the country that most of us grew up in is not going to be here much longer if you don't simple and why is that important for Christians particularly? Because God will be taken out of everything and you'll be ostracized. You'll be mocked. And it's happening now. And I don't think people want to be hiding, uh, you know, going back back, going back to the Roman days. Who, who you got to hide to worship? You got to hide your dead? I mean, that's what, that's what, uh, that's what happened 2000 years ago. I mean, we're going to relive that. I mean, I'm being a little extreme, but uh, if you want, if you want your country to be God fearing without pushing it in people's faces, then you got to get out and vote. And that's why, that's why this film is important. Is there anything else that you'd like to tell our audience that I haven't asked? Uh, tell your audience, again, uh, vote, get 40 million people. If we can get 10% of those people, we'll be okay. Well, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate you meeting with me. You're welcome, Jacqueline Burkpile. <laughs> Anytime. <laughs>